A local restaurant owner being sued by former employees who say that they never got paid after a restaurant suddenly closed. NBC4 investigates Jamie Ostroff dug into both sides of this issue. Jamie, what can you tell us? Well, Jennifer, headquarter in Dublin's Bridge Park closed a little over two months ago. Owner Ron Jordan says the restaurant simply couldn't survive the pandemic. But when word got out that Jordan had entered into a new restaurant deal, the people who worked at Hen Quarter started questioning whether COVID was just a cover. Now, NBC4 investigates. Zach Hood is the lead plaintiff on a class action lawsuit filed against the owner of Hen Quarter. Hood worked as a server at the Dublin Eatery. It was a great environment to make money. Um, everyone that worked there was a great culture. But that all ended January 11th, according to the lawsuit. Basically said, you know, we're closing down effective immediately. Uh, they noted shortages in labor, shortages, or I guess supply chain shortages, and then COVID as well as reasons to shut down. It all seemed reasonable at first, Hood says, until payday came and went with no checks. Hey, um, we're not going to give you that paycheck now, but we're going to give you another one on Tuesday. That day came around, nothing happened. A couple more days come around. Uh, associates are starting to get a little angered, so you know we're responding to this email chain, looking like for any sort of communication. Hood says he and his attorneys tried multiple times to reach the restaurant's owner and his attorney with no luck. So they filed the federal suit, claiming violations of state and federal labor laws. They're asking for unpaid wages and tips, plus additional damages. These tips that are in the paychecks, these are cash tips that they should have on hand, you know, like where do those funds go? Something else happened January 11th, raising more questions from Hood and his co-workers. An announcement that Hen Quarter owner Ron Jordan was taking over 21 Donato's Pizza restaurants in Indiana. How can you buy these pizza shops and then turn around and paid your employees that have worked so hard, set this image of your restaurant and just take their funds. I asked Ron Jordan about the Donato's deal. And that made them question whether you did have the money to pay them. Yeah, yeah, and I get that. Um, I understand that and that's been the toughest part about all this is being painted uh, in a light that isn't true. Jordan says the money for the pizza restaurants came from an outside investor. 22 Ventures, a venture capital business led by former NBA player Michael Red. My failure at headquarters is my failure at headquarters. Um, you know, the Donato's deal was something that was in the works many, many months before we ever got to the inevitable failure and just hit at the same time. Getting emotional, Jordan maintains that Hen Quarter went under because of the pandemic. You know, I would give my, my, the shirt off my back to any person that ever has worked for me in my past. You know, we're not talking to any of the employees that understand who I am and what I've provided, the amount of personal capital that I've expelled in this venture, the amount of overall loss that I've sustained and will continue to sustain. There was just one question Jordan could not answer. Are they getting paid? I'm a bit advised by counsel not to comment about ongoing litigation. Um, we can circle back at some point and talk about this later once there becomes a clear path for everybody. And we will continue to stay on this for you as that path does become more clear. Now, in Ohio, employers can be penalized if they don't pay workers within 30 days after the regularly scheduled pay date. So if that sounds familiar, if it has happened to you, you can file a complaint with the Ohio Department of Commerce. And we have a link for you uh, showing you how to do that at NBC4i.com.